right hand up and give me five. Right hand up, give me five. Five, not four, five. Put your hands down. Please listen, this is what's gonna happen right now. We have a warm up, you have three questions. For the first question, you see the statement in the blue, purple kind of here. So for that one, you guys need to write an equation. So you need to define the variables first, write the equation for this sentence right here, for this problem right here. For number two, you have one, two equations. Your job for number two is to make up a story. You give the words for that one. So please write a story for each one of those equations. If you finish before time is up, can you please try the problem at the bottom? Write a plus one on your paper. You know that it is extra credit. So you're gonna have seven minutes. In seven minutes, please be ready. Your time is running. So how much money did Mr. Dilly start with? 20. And how much is he adding? Is he adding or? or? I start. Mm -hmm. So the money is getting bigger or smaller? Smaller. Big. Is it getting bigger or smaller? Bigger. No. Bigger. Is it increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Increasing. So how would, would that look like if you write an equation using those letters that you have? Hmm. Right now, see, this is going to happen. You're going to have two minutes. Please turn to your group. And now, can you please discuss it and see if you ended up with the same, um, with the same answer? If you got a little stuck, then use each other right now. So two minutes, discuss with your group. Talk to each other. Make sure that you guys are checking with each other. So what happened? Did you guys end up with the same thing? Can we compare your equations? Aya, do you have the same equation she got? So this one right here? Yes. And what does that, what does D represent? The amount of money that he started with. And what does 25 represent? The money that he has. And then? The money that he is collecting. Okay, so what's the other letter that you chose? What are your C. variables? C, and what does C represent? The amount of money that he is collecting by week. That he is collecting. Yeah. That he is collecting. So, um, will your equation look like the, is it gonna be in standard form or white intercept? Is it gonna look like that one over there or is it gonna look like this? Wait, hold on, so for that problem, which one is the slope? Slope is a... Uh, Oh, is the one that doesn't have letter? Right. Which one is the white intercept? The one that has half letter on it. Mm, so, so for this problem right here, what would the equation look like? This one. How you know? Um. Ah, yeah, this one or that one? How do we know? Can you set it up? And I'm going to come back with the same question. How do you know that should look like this one? Five, four, three, two, one. For the first problem, for the first problem, and um, I, let me put it back up. What's the starting for the first problem? What's it starting? Oh, and is that, is, he, is that amount of money gonna increase or decrease? Increase. Increase by how much? Ten. By 10. So that equation, is it gonna look like this one right here in standard form? Or is it gonna be in any of the other ones that we have? Is it gonna look like this? Or this one here? Which one uses the starting and the slope? Other uh, one. That equation. Wait, hold on. So which one is the starting? Uh, 25. 25. And increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Increase. By how much? 10. So which one uses that information, the starting and the increasing or decreasing? One. This one. Jesus, will you please show us how would it look like? And we're going to help you, please. 
Yes, and we're going to help you. Uh, like that? What do you guys think? What are we missing? Are we done? Josue, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing the variables. So how are we going to use those variables? Mm, and W represents what? He's going with W. What does W represent? Week. Week. The number of weeks. So the starting plus 10 times the number of weeks is going to be equals to, to the total. So equals to, you wanted to use the T? Okay, look at that equation. Increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Increasing, how do you know? Because they have a plus sign and it's 25 and they're adding 10 every week. The slope, positive or negative? Positive. If the slope is negative, what do we know? It's gonna increase, I mean decreasing. It's gonna be decreasing. It's gonna be decreasing. Okay, so right now, thank you so much. Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? Okay, so because there are two things that need to happen today, we're going to keep moving. We're going to come back and we're going to see more problems like the other two where, we're writing, um, where we are writing equations and we're going to discuss in our groups and we're going to be helping. You have three teachers to help you when, when you're working in your groups. And we're going to see it here one more time. So right now, we're going to switch. This is what's going to happen. You guys are going to have 10 minutes to work on this one here. And this is for 10 minutes, you guys are going to be working individually, so to see. And then after that, you're going to come back to your groups. And at the end, we're going to end up with our super question when we are working all together. So right now, can you guys please go ahead and send one person, get as many as you need, make it back, and our time is going to start running. We're going to solve this problem. This problem. Um, Raynor Moo, what does X represent? Can you please look at the paper? 3S comma. X represent, can you look at your paper? What does X represent? Number of. I do not remember. Number of quarters. Quarters. Quarters is. In cash. Cash. Register. Re register, okay. Mohammed, what does Y represent? Uh, number of dollars, bills, and cash register. Right. Okay. So, which one is the question one? Uh, 3x. 3x. Three um, three x equals, equals y. one. Josue, which one is the question two? So, 4x Good question two. Number one. Lynette, would you please read number one? Explaining words and meaning of each, each equation. Explaining words, the meaning of each equation. How many questions do you have? Two. How many explanations are you going to have? Two. two. What's the meaning of the equation? Okay, number two. Gada, would you please read number two? Find two pairs of values for x and y. That leads the first equation true. Fine. Two pairs. So at the end, you're going to have two points with Numbers in the make which equation true? Cool. Which equation true? First. The first equation. Okay, the first equation. Um, Carla, would you please read number three? Find two pairs of values for x and y and make the second equation true. Now, which equation? The second one. Ah, the second equation. So, same thing. You're going to find two pairs. Two pairs. And you're going to find those numbers that make... Which equation? The second equation, true. The second equation, true. Okay, number four, Saidi, what are we doing for number four? Find the solution to the system of equations. Find the solution to the system of equations. You can do elimination, you can do substitution. So right now, we have 10 minutes. See, this 10 minutes, you're individually working. So you're not checking, you're not talking, it's, you're on your own. So right now, your time is running. This is this right? What is that? Yeah, which one is value? Yeah, three quarters, register, equal, and dollars. Okay, right now is your thinking. Right now is that your thinking. So this is question two. Write a meaning for equation two. At the end, we come back together and we're gonna have our super solution. So right now is your thinking on this paper. Okay. Then we check, okay?
What's the meaning of this equation? Can you say it in words? Uh, 3x. Three What's the operation here? The 3, three times x okay. equals to the total of y. All right. So a number times 3 times this number is equals to? x. To y. To y. So what are two numbers that make this equation be true? They give you a true statement. Two and three. Can you prove that they are going to work? How do you know that they are going to work? Right hand up and give me five. Okay. Hands down, please listen, because see, this is what's going to happen. You spend a 10 minutes working on your own. Maybe we got a little stuck. But see, now it's time when we get unstuck, right? And see, I'm looking for your thinking. I'm looking for your work. I appreciate your work. I appreciate your thinking. So what we're going to do is... Now you guys are going to be working with your groups. So can you please get another piece of paper, a blank one, because I don't want people erasing. It's your work, and I want to see what you did. So get another piece of paper, and now working with the people in your group, sharing your thinking and your answers, we're going to come up with a super answer for our problem. So right now, working with your groups on a separate piece of paper, you're going to answer the questions again. You're going to go over the questions, taking into account what the people in your group were trying and thinking. I got 9x and 3y. And 3y. Let's discuss number one now. Okay. What happened? Do you guys end up with the same meaning? Mm -hmm. Everybody got it done? Yeah, we got the same thing. You guys got the same thing? Yeah. So can you please share and see if you guys agree? <coughs> go over your thinking right now. Discuss it. And I'm going to be back and check. What happened? Okay, so share with us, please. Three times the number of cotton cash register. You got to the number of the abusive cash register. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's what we did. We think about it now. That's what we think to write. You agree with him? Yeah. Why do you agree with him? Because, because. Three, three, three times. And. So. Uh, because 3x uh, was number so far in classic history. Mm -hmm. like that. Mm, so let's let's see. What did you say? Do you agree with them? What did you say? Yeah. This is x multiplied by three. Um, by number of people in category register. So basically, all group is saying the same thing. Yeah. So what if I ask you guys? Um, I have one quarter. How many dollars is that? Uh, one quarter? Mm -hmm. Wait, according to the equation, that's what we're using right now, right? So according to this equation, if I have one quarter, how many dollars do I have? Three. Why is it three? Hmm. So let's say that I have two quarters then. I have three quarters. How many dollar bills do I have in my register? Six. Why is it six? Because I... And if we're using the shortcut, she says three times multiplied by the number of quarters. So if we if we use the shortcut, yes. Hmm. You're gonna put the number in the x. Oh, so you're gonna replace which letter? X. Hmm. Okay. So what did you guys say for the second equation? What happened? Can you guys check and see if you guys thought the same thing? And if you agree with each other thinking, please, give me five. Right hand up, give me five. Hands down, this is, this is what's going to happen. We're going to come back. We will finish working with our groups. We will discuss. Okay, so right now you guys are going to go. Um, water, restroom, come back. Right hand up and give me five. Okay, so we're gonna spend 10 more minutes and then groups are gonna report. So 10 more, let's try to get as far as we can. Please make sure that you guys are discussing, that you guys are checking with each other, and then groups are gonna be reporting. So let's see, 10 minutes, 10 more. Okay, and then if we have time, we're gonna um, use computers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 10 more minutes, then groups report, and then probably computers, we will see. 57. Wait. Wait, let's see. I think she had an, she has an idea. What's your ID? Four times two. Four. Wait, hold on. What is it? Four times two. And then? 
62. Better be equal to 70. 70. Do we understand what she's doing? Yes. What is she doing? 4 plus 4 multiplied to a plus 62. She's like substituting. She's substituting. That's the word, right? The S word. She's substituting. So can you check? And you tell me. Do the numbers work? <laughs> you guys are almost done. This class. Okay, one more time. How many how many quarters do we have in the cash register? And, and how many dollars? Thirty. Thirty. Write a sentence and complete sentences. You just told me. So put it on the paper. And then let's see. What did you guys say for the meaning again of the first equation? Uh -huh. For the first equation, what was the meaning? Three times the number of quarters in cash register equal to the number of dollar bills in cash register. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a whiteboard, and can you guys please write, make it really nice and really neat, and you guys are going to share that one. What's the meaning of the first equation? Okay, so write your sentence, write your sentence, I'm going to get you the whiteboard, and you guys are going to present that one. You guys are going to go for saying You're going to just chalk what you have here, okay? And then if they have any questions, we're going to we're gonna answer them. Yeah, so you go after saying, right hand up, and give me five. Right hand up. Okay, so right now, put your hands down and see, this is what's gonna happen. We did a beautiful job. We got stuck and then we got unstuck, right? Um, so groups are gonna present, so we get the whole point, and then if you are still stuck, this is your chance. So make sure that you finish up, you're taking good notes, and then if you have a question, make sure that you ask it, so that, you know, from here on, you don't get confused, and you know, we take care of your questions right here, okay? So, um, who has number one? You guys, you guys are gonna start. And remember, you are responsible for getting two presentations, two presentations from here to the end of that, remember, to the semester. So that means that every time you step here, you get your points. So um, he's gonna start and you know the order. So please go ahead, come over here and share. And see, the rest of us are taking notes, making sure that our work is matching and analyzing what he's saying. And please, Make sure that you are respectfully listening. Okay, talk to us. Tell us what you did. What's the meaning of the first equation? Three times the number of court and cash register equal to the number of dollar bills in cash registers. Lynette, what's the meaning of the first equation? We have to make the meaning of the first equation is three times the number of quarters in cash register. And it's equal to the number of dollars bills in cash free Okay. And I want you guys to notice we're writing in complete sentences. Please listen. We're writing in complete sentences. And remember, one of our objectives says we're going to interpret and analyze, express orally, and in writing. And write in complete sentences. We're doing it. So do you have any questions for our colleague? Questions for Saidi about the meaning of the first equation? No. Okay, who has the second equation? <laughs> Tell us, what are your values? How do you know that they work? What did you do? Uh, first, here I chose the x equal y. In x, x here, I substitute 3, and then and 3 times 3, multi, multi, uh, 3 times 3 equal 9. And we get y, y equal nine. In here, uh, this this y y uh, y equation. And here is we need a uh, three three equation. Uh, no x equation. And in y here, I substitute nine. I get a nine here nine and and then I solve it. And then I got the x and I checked, I substitute the re here and I got a true statement. Okay, questions about the, the, the numbers that he's using? And see, notice how he is checking, he's proving, no one can challenge because he's proving that his answer works. And look, notice that the substitution, whatever he saw on x, he put 
Three. 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 And notice, very organized. I can follow what he's doing. Even if there was a little mistake, I can go back and say, oh, he knows how to do this. It's just this little thing. So we speak with him like five minutes and he's good to go. Questions? We're good? Okay, so this was number two. Number three. Okay, first I choose the x equal two. And I write the equation from the equation, three x equal y. Then I write the three and our x is two, because our x is two here and equal y. And three times two equals six y. And I got the y equals six. Okay. Because, Are the values gonna work? Yeah, because I check here and I got the true statement. Then we know the point, our point two, two comma six is the solution because we got the true statement. Is he checking the first equation or the second one? Second one. Ooh, so that means, is he using the same values the same was using? Yes. What was the x value that same was using? Three. Three, and what was his y? Five. Uh, it was? Six. Six. Mm -hmm. Right here, look. Nine. 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 Uh, and what values is he using? Six. six. And six for the x or the y? The y. The y and his x is? His x is? Six. Six. So different numbers are going to make that equation be true. Now we have a problem because we, we need, still need to see number, the second equation. Who has values for the second equation? He was also checking the first one. Proving that different values are going to work, but we need to see um, two values for the first, for the second equation. Who got them? Values that are going to work for the second equation. You have them? Yeah. Can we please take a look at them? Thank you, Shankar. What are the numbers you used? Two and four. Two and four. Um, sh did you prove that those values are going to work? Yeah. Okay, walk us through. Tell us how you know that they are going to work. So 4 times 2 is equal to 4, uh, to 8, and um, 8 plus 62 is equal to 70. I have one question. If I want to prove, if, if I have these values and I want to show that they work, how do I do that? How do we check? What's the strategy for checking? Oh, we need to substitute the S word. We need to substitute the numbers. Whatever you see an X, you have the value and you put it in. Whatever you see a Y, you have the value, you replace it. That's what's happening right here. Okay? Questions for Gada? No? no? We're good? Okay. Okay, I have one more question. And um, because we have to differentiate here, right? We have four ways of solving system of equations. Four. Do you guys remember what are the four ways? Reino, give me one. What's one way? Uh, table. Tables. What's another one? Graphs. Substitution. What's another one? Graphs. Graphs. And what's the last one? Elimination. Elimination. See. Okay, right now, what questions do you have? Questions? Okay, so those are gonna go up so that if you need you know, one more resource, you have a map and you can always refer to them as a resource. You guys have your binders, your book, each other, and the teachers in this room. So that was a wonderful job. I am really proud and you should be really proud. It was you know, a word problem and we usually get stuck, but today it was great, we did a nice job. So all of us should be very, very proud, okay?